hi everybody welcome back to bring life indoors it's moira here thank you so much for joining me i hope you're doing well and having a beautiful day as for us as a family it's an exciting day for us um our daughter offense started varsity today so today was her first day at varsity so yeah it's been a very exciting day and and a tired someone too <laughs> but absolutely above all things very exciting absolutely exciting so i'm sure if you can tell or you can tell i am a bit exhausted i'm a bit tired so i'm gonna keep this short um today i just want to talk about plants which i chopped literally to nothing and have them grow up like have them shoot up again reshoot um to tell you how they're doing what survived what didn't survive just want to check on jonathan he's outside just want to check on him a bit all right he's okay just wanted to check his outside play so um yeah i just wanted to take you through them i got a i got a uh one of my followers uh watched a video i did on my sing i think chinese evergreen which i chopped it was leggy and then i chopped it up just to because um, there's plants which I don't like leggy. If they become leggy, I find it very interesting and, you know. But there are those which <clears throat> don't look... That one didn't look exciting for me. It's, it's, it, it was just that one plant which, yeah, it was bothering me. So I decided to actually chop it up and propagate it and restart the plant. Um, so um, one of the followers asked me, to give an update on it as to how it's doing and i forgot about that i want to apologize for that many times i say i'll come back and sometimes i forget most of the time i do remember but there's times i forget i should actually note these things down but thank you so much for reminding me about that so as for that plant it did well for a while i must and it's my fault on my part i think i was impatient with it um so i you know and if you're going to chop your plant, you need to know and you are restarting it, you're putting it directly in. Because that's what I did. I didn't let it sit in water until it developed roots. And then like I usually do with my plants, usually I, the way I propagate, which I prefer, is I take a cutting, put it in water until it, it develops roots. And once it has developed roots, which I feel um, good enough to transplant it to soil, then I take the plant and I transplant it to soil. But with that particular plant, I think I was over that plant. I was, you know, but I didn't just want to give up on it without trying. And it, then I decided to experiment with it, you know, just directly into soil. And I know, you know, um, when you do that, when you propagate directly into soil, a lot of things can happen. A lot of things can go wrong. But sometimes nothing really goes wrong. It's just you need to be very patient because you don't see anything with that pot of soil. That's, what, that's why I like water. With water, you can see what's happening. You see that little root that coming. You see the whole development of the roots and as to what's going on inside uh, the pot. So if it's sitting in water, a glass of water you can see the whole process and every time you see something new um you know you it's a joy it doesn't it, it's a joy it's a, it, and to be patient is not an issue you you can actually just you know because you are seeing the result you're seeing uh, the process of it but then if it's in soil there's you don't see anything it, it, it's 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 a whole thing of hope it's a whole thing of waiting. It's a whole thing of, it's a it's a different ball game altogether, because you have to believe that there's something happening in that soil, underneath there. And the truth is, there is something happening. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean there's nothing. But I think with me, I gave up. The truth is, I gave up too quickly, and um and the leaves were and that's gonna happen. By the way. The, the, the leaves are gonna most of the leaves are gonna die off you know and it's gonna obviously start shooting new leaves you know and all that that is bound to happen when you take a plant and cut it and put it directly into soil 
and uh, let it do its thing. You know, that is bound to happen. It doesn't mean you're losing the plant. It's going to shed a few leaves um, while it's shooting up new leaf, new growth, you know. And I didn't like the look of it, so I threw it away. And I didn't even take pictures of it. But it doesn't mean it wasn't taken to soil. Because I remember even when I, I threw it, I didn't just throw it. I took it out of the soil to see what... And yes, it was developing roots at, at a very slow rate, but it was developing roots. So something was definitely happen, happening. So if I became patient enough, if I, I waited long enough, um, that plant would be one of these right here. But I've learned um, if I'm going to do that, I'll tell you what I did with these. If I'm going to do that with me, knowing myself, I need to put that plant away from me where I don't see it every day because um, then it bothers me how it looks. <laughs> that's just me. I'm sure some people out there, it, that process doesn't bother them. That's why I love water propagation so much. Uh, but I still do, some plants I still do soil propagation. I'll show you the ones I did. So let's look at the plants which I, I researched. Today I just want to talk about plants which I started from uh, I chopped up to to regrow them. I literally took the scissors. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll remember this Peperomia Amigo Marcelo. I did the same. I chopped everything off. And you can see it's taking its time. I must be honest. Um, the, 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 the cuttings which I used are so beautiful. They've taken well. I mean, I've given one to my son and my daughter. I've got one myself sitting in my lounge but this is how this pot looks you can see <laughs> the side that's growing to the sun i must turn it more often but i don't mind um how it looks but this is how it looks um i must be honest i'm at the place where i almost want to give up on it but not because it's not working out i just don't like how it's looking at the moment but i'm sure um uh, if i ignore it just take care of it and ignore it. Put it where I don't have to see it all the time. We'll be looking at something completely different. But it is growing. From having chopped it all off and to this, it is growing. So there we go. That's one of them, Peperomia Amigo Marcelo. And the other one was this uh, Bridal Veil. Uh, I did one, I did a, a reel on um, Instagram where I chopped everything completely bold it went bold i chopped it all and look how beautiful it is growing now so you can do that with your plants if you feel what had happened with this one let me explain why i did that it's not like i took a i took a healthy plant and i just decided to chop it no i don't do that i love my plants um they were struggling like this one it just it got attacked it had a worm which was which which was eating it up so I cleaned it up, but by the end of the day, all I was left with most of it was um, most of the leaves fell, so it was very leggy, and I didn't like the look. Uh, so I decided to cut it because it was so leggy because of what it went through with the pests, some worm, some green little worm, you know, and that's what happened with it. So I didn't just decide to chop it. Same thing with this veil. What happened with this veil is no, it was not a pest problem. With it is we went away and I neglected it. So I didn't water it. If you don't water these things and you leave it alone, this one, it will dry up on you. And the look is horrible. It doesn't look nice. But it had dried up. It was not dead. It was just dried up. And I didn't like the look. There was a whole lot of dry leaves. Usually I sit and I clean it up. But that day it looked way too much to deal with that normal. So I decided to chop it off. So it's coming. Oh, I managed to catch it. Uh, I almost lost it this time. Anyway, thank you, Jesus. So it's coming back. As you can see, it's growing absolutely beautiful. It's coming back. It's color is coming back. So yeah, you can do that. You can you can really chop your plant to nothing. Like I said, this one was bold, and uh, you won't regret that at all. 
and one of the other plugs i did that with was this beautiful um arrow plant even this one i i chopped it to the bone i chopped everything it went bold and um there we go look at how beautiful it's coming up it took a while you need to be very patient if you're gonna do that it took a long long time for us to get here for us to get here so that's all i did i just chopped it up and i left it alone continue to look after it like i usually do and new growth started shooting out so yep and the other one is this um this is anthurium i did the same you can see this is actually dead i must remove this this is gone but i'll use this scissor before i ruin my plant i should have scissors here somewhere yep you can see it was two stems this one it didn't give me anything but this stem gave me a lot of shoots so i'm just gonna actually just chop this chop this off like that see you just take that off yeah there we go just remove all those things so yeah so that's what it is this is um anthurium i also chopped it there was nothing of it left and then um you know and then this is what you have it's growing up so beautifully and i'm hoping that it will continue look at those roots look at those root system so i'm hoping that it will get bigger than what it is so you can actually do that you can you can do that this is anthurium and um the last one okay it's not the last one the other one i still have to do that but this one that i did it differently this one is your if you follow me you saw this one also when i did that i chopped this one up this is it was done it it was still looking beautiful but it was bold on the top and all i did was chop it up and then i threw that i threw the pot away and i took just fresh new soil and i stick i i, I took these uh nice cuttings healthy cuttings and i put them in soil they've been in here for weeks you can see they have actually taken root and they're growing beautifully uh what didn't make it, there's certain cuttings that didn't make make it and all you do is just pull them out and throw them out but everything else you can see it has it has taken root and i've recently done that with my banana my string of bananas um i chopped it if you follow me on instagram you'll have seen that i chopped it and i threw i just threw the pot away because there was nothing of it left it was just bold so with with my string of bananas string of pearls or string of anything for that matter uh this one i did it like that i did it directly in soil i didn't put in water you can put it in water but this time i did it directly in soil they root so easily and so quickly and the bananas i didn't have time i'll just show you quickly So the bananas, I didn't have time to actually um, put them in soil. I was in a hurry, so I decided to put them in water. And look at those roots. They've they already developed roots. So I'm going to set, maybe the next video I'll be doing that. You can check that video for next week. That will be my video for next week. I'll be putting up some of my propagations, which I feel um, they're ready to be potted. But yeah, that's it for today. If you have a plant, um, I'm not going to sit here and say Sir, they're all going to make it. But I know most of them, 90% of the time, they do shoot up, you know. Um, and what I've seen works for me, I've got this tub, which I made into a green, a green tub, if you want to look at it that way, or a greenhouse. I'm just going to grab it to show you. Um...
So I have I've made this for myself. You can actually make it yourself. You can take two tabs that are the same size and you can see I've solo taped that the same. They must be exactly this because I needed height because some of my plants are, are higher or longer or taller. Taller is the right word. Um, so I actually, I needed height. So that's why I couldn't use the lid. So I took out the lids and then I took the, the, the tabs and I put them on top of each other. And then I cello taped the one side and that it can open this way and close, open and close. So I use it as a greenhouse and that's where I put, if I chop something, I put it in a greenhouse. These are living in a greenhouse at the moment. They are not yet in my house. I haven't moved them in move them to my house and I put them in a greenhouse. I just make sure that they are nicely watered and I leave them in there. And um yeah somehow they love it and they grow so beautiful and so well and no issue because then they've got humidity and I put them in an the area where they're in the garage. I've put them in the area where they get enough light and it's the corner where they are it's nice and warm and they've got humidity obviously this creates humidity so that helps so for me the only advice i would give is that if you're gonna do something like that you can except for this one this one i have um yes i did put it in the when i started off i did put it in in here and once it started shooting i took it out when um i took it out when when the spring, when uh, during over spring time, because now it's summer, I took it out uh, during spring, and then I hanged it out, and it handled that well. It the transition very well. Um, so, but these ones I felt that are still small, so I'm not in a hurry to take them out. So they're still living in the greenhouse, except for this one. This one is not living in the greenhouse. So these two are living in the green, greenhouse. So I would advise something like that. Uh, for the best results um, otherwise if you don't have something like this or you don't want to make something like this which I don't understand why would you want just make it and put it away where you don't have to see it I know it's ugly <laughs> but put it away where you don't have to see it every day um, trust me it's worth it otherwise if you don't have a place for it or you don't you want you don't have a place where you can put it or space just find a corner in your home where it gets bright light and where it's warm, I love the corner of my kitchen. Usually that's what I would use. And my things like this do very well there because I cook there. That's where my stove is right there. I cook there, so I put all my propagations there. But this has been, I must be honest, this has been one of the best things I've ever done DIY-wise as a greenhouse. It's nice to have a mini greenhouse to do things like this but anyway i thought i'll give you an update on how these plants are doing um when i chop them i just did a reel on instagram go check out my instagram account i'll link it on the description below i just did yeah i just did a reel on instagram when i was chopping them but yeah they're doing well they're doing absolutely well no issues uh, i keep on coming back to check them and the beautiful thing about them being in the greenhouse is they don't dry out too quickly, which is nice. That helps a lot. And you don't have to water them a lot because they don't dry out too quickly. So you're not going to forget about them now. If you're going to chop a plant, don't forget about it. It will die on you. You need to... It's... Uh, I always say it's like it's in a hospital. You know, once you're going to chop it all together off, you need to look after it more than you were doing before. You need to care for it. You need to be on top of it. Otherwise, you will lose it because it needs more care. And mostly, it will be just to keep on checking on it. Is there something happening? Is it drying out? Is it dry? Is it getting humidity? Is it, you know, is there pests? You don't want pests. You know, things like that. Just to make sure things are in order until until you win until it's at the place where it can be wind off that kind of care and you can it can start um doing well on its own without being 
being mothered so much. I don't know if I'm making sense. But anyway, it's been fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if it's something you would do or something you have done. I would do it anytime. If, if I love that plant and I can save it that way, I'll save it. But there's plants which have struggled and I must be honest, I didn't have a problem throwing them in the bin because I didn't feel like saving them. And maybe they were not so close to my heart for me to want to save them. So I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you and say I save every plant I have. There's plants I really honestly make peace with them. When they struggle, I don't stress myself. I throw in the, dust, in the dustbin. I've done that with lots of my plants. And some, when they struggle, I go and plant them in the garden. And surprisingly enough, they, they do well out there. I do. I move them to the garden and I plant them in the garden. If they survive, they survive and they, they happen to do well. And if they, if they don't make it, they don't make it. They were never, I mean, it's plants. That means it was just not going to make it anyway. So um, I do what I can. I try what I can. And if, if I've done, if I know I've taken care of that plant, plant the best way the best possible way i know how i don't stress myself and in the same breath the certain plants i go an extra mile like these ones like i've done this is an extra mile for me if you see me chopping a plant just know i'm going an extra mile but if you see me that is struggling and i've done the everything i can some i don't go ahead and chop them i really throw in the dustbin i make peace and i I'm grateful for having had it in my care, but I don't have a problem letting go of it. So yeah, it depends which plants, which plant, it, well, what plant it is. It, it depends on the type of a plant, how close it is to my heart and how much do I want to still keep it or save it or anyway. So yeah, I just wanted to show you, you might be out there and feeling I've got this beautiful plant and I love it and it's, it seemed to be on its way out. Oh, it's struggling. It's just struggling. Sometimes it just needs a new fresh start. You just chop it and you leave it, put it in a greenhouse or put it in an area where, it will be, where it's warm and humid and make sure that you care for it. Or sometimes they just need a fresh, new, clean, new soil. Just take it out of the soil it's in, throw that soil out. And give it a fresh new soil you'll be surprised the certain plants all i had to do was to do that not chop or to the bone all i had to do was to take it out of the old soil and give it fresh soil and bam it just flourished you know like a new plant altogether but anyway it's been fun thank you so much for joining me until next time have yourself a beautiful day